first of all, you guys are kicking butt. I know how recent you guys are as coaches. I mean, how many months have you been coaches? I mean, Morgan, how long have you been a coach? Been a coach. I started in May, and then since June, I've been Success Club 10. I can tell every okay. month. So you're pretty much a rock star, and you've been a coach since May, not even a year. Yeah. Yep. Like half a year. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Amanda, how about you? Uh, the end of April. Okay. Look at that. Okay, so what? So one thing I want you to think about, we'll come back to it in a minute, is you guys are going to come up on your one-year anniversary as Beachbody coaches, okay? Obviously, you guys are both around that, you know, six and seven months as coaches. So think about that, okay? We're going to come back around to that. Um, so, yeah, this is a good group, Bree. This is a good group. Um, I'm, I'm glad you two are on this call. So we'll, we'll dive real hard into that in a minute. First of all, I have a couple questions for you guys. Um, at this point in the game, you have a couple, you know, we have choices to make on what we want to do. It's December. Okay. You guys hear this from your coaches. You have a choice. One, you can coast. You can pull back a little bit, kind of, kind of go on cruise control. It's the holidays, it's Christmas and start back up in January. That's one option. Okay. Second option is busting it through this holiday season, seeing it as an opportunity and potential to grow your business. Okay. Let me just give you the repercussion of both. The first one, coaches that coast or go on cruise control and, and decide to just hold off till January, historically, they, they, January comes around and all of a sudden they're like, crap, I got to get my momentum back. They don't get their momentum back till like February or March. So technically, they've lost one or two months, if not a full quarter one, in, in the whole next year. So they're that much further behind in gaining their momentum back. The second group are the ones that bust it now. Take advantage of December. Look at the great opportunities we have. We have a new launched product that, you know, some people, you guys can correct me, some people are really marketing it like crazy. Others are doing the product now, so then they can really capitalize on getting others, you know, into the challenge group starting January 4th, which is going to be our largest challenge group ever. So we're really excited about you guys and your coaches being a part of this challenge group. It's for coaches and corporate executives, um, and all your customers are all more than welcome to join this giant challenge group. We want to have record-breaking numbers in this group. So plan on that and kind of gauge your marketing strategies with the uh, master's hammer and chisel for that uh, challenge. <laughs> and so everyone needs to purchase it, get it shipped to them, and ready to go by January 4th. So kind of plan on that in your strategies. That will be a fun thing to push for. Um, along with that, those coaches taking that crossroad, of busting it now, working hard now, and gate going into January. You know, I know somebody, I, you know, Morgan, you're diamond now and Amanda's one star. If you give everything right now 100% and you push hard and continue to hit, continue your momentum of that SC10, what's going to happen is you're going to go into January with a lot of momentum. You're going to capitalize on these people pushing for, resol you know, obviously Christmas gifts, but also going into resolution time everybody's looking for resolutions. They're either going to go get that treadmill at the store, they're going to go get a gym pass, or they're going to join Beachbody. Okay, everybody's going to be looking for one of those three. And they're going to go to somebody to get that advice, what should I do? And you want Amanda, Morgan, Bree, you want to be that person they go to. Should I go get that treadmill, which historically, if you guys look at statistics on how many people purchase a treadmill and actually use the thing, or a gym pass. Same thing. How many people buy that gym pass and actually don't even use it? Okay. But Beachbody, as we know, the conveniences of home and the opportunities to do things, you know, working, you know, the flexibility of your schedule. But keep that in mind. They, they're going to go to somebody to get their answers. You want it to be you. So question your marketing on what are you doing, how are you doing it, and how are you going to capture the most amount of people in your network and on your Facebook so they come to you. I want to just use an example of that. Okay, I've been with Beachbody for a year and a half. On my Facebook, I constant. I mean, two weeks ago, I had two friends of my wife and I reach out to, we met, we used to hang out with them when we were single, uh, or dating, I guess you'd say. Well, they hit me up saying, oh, I just noticed you were a Beachbody coach. I'm real interested in this 21-day fix you guys have. Or, hey, I heard about your guys' Shakeology. I hear it's expensive, but I want to try it. Okay? Two people in one week. And then I had two cousins of mine last week. One of them stopped by the office and was very curious about the coaching opportunity 
And another coach, re- another cousin reached out to me today saying, I want to get on the Shakeology. I, he- I hear it, it's health, you know, the s- typical responses of making you healthy and losing weight. Okay. I've been here a year and a half. You guys have been coaches for six months, seven months. Okay. Your Facebook friends, you may think that they know what you do, but the reality is, is how are they going to, how are you going to know what they do unless you ask them? Okay. You have to make it a point to make sure you reach out to everybody on your Facebook. You're constantly adding new people. You're, you're broadening your, uh, your influence, but are you asking? Because that's all it takes is to let them know you're the go-to person for nutrition. You're the go-to person for health. You're the go-to person for products. And so relay that down to your coaches. So you capture this whole market, this population of people that are all looking for an answer to their resolutions. So that's one. And so with that crossroads, that second crossroads, it'll put you guys on a, on a path and a momentum of success. And I kind of talked to Bree a little bit, but within six to eight months, you guys are coming up on your year mark. I'm curious on what is your goal when you hit that year mark? What is it that you want to achieve? And we want to get your business on a path, on a pattern where you're rank advancing about once a quarter. Okay, that's kind of the, kind of what we want to really gauge you guys and get you to. And if that's the case, uh, Morgan and Amanda, you guys, ah, Carrie, what's going on? Hello, hello. You sneak on the call like that. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good, good, good. Welcome to the call. I know you're a yes. diamond, right? Diamond coach? Yes. Rocking it, kicking butt. Good. Welcome yeah. to the call. Thanks. I didn't give a formal invite to you. <laughs> um, so with, we got two diamonds and one star on this call. You think about it. Um, if you, you know, bottom line, you guys are all going to be two to five star diamond coaches, you know, or higher in the next six to eight months, if you really think about it. So that's pretty exciting. You know, you think about where your income's going to be, where your rank's going to be, and the kind of influence as a leader you're going to be, okay? And you think about it. I mean, let's kind of go with Amanda here. You're a one-star diamond coach right now. If you bust it and take advantage, get these resolutions, get people in challenge groups, all of a sudden January, February comes around, and you got your two-star diamond qualifying, okay? And then you're going to continue to get momentum going. Income is going to grow. And uh, being a two- to five-star diamond coach – it's unbelievable the transition your business will have with income, with volume. And some of you guys, you know, you have one coach, two coach, maybe eight coaches, 10 coaches underneath you. Can you imagine being where Bree's at and having hundreds of coaches underneath? You? That's how soon it's going to happen for you guys. And I want you to keep that vision and momentum. Okay. Another thing is I had two coaches share this and I really, really liked it. Um, one of them is, do you guys have any issues with coaches where they, run into hurdles or obstacles on, on having that heart or that drive into really wanting this. They say they want it, but they don't act, their actions don't prove it. Or, you know, they're kind of half asset, so to speak. Okay. The biggest thing you want to get your coaches doing, and I had a coach share this on a team call and I really, really liked it. They said, you want them when they mention their why as to why they're doing this, you want them to get real emotional about it. Maybe even cry. Why? Because you want their why to be entangled, entangled with their soul. If you can get your coaches and even yourself entangling your why into your soul, there's nothing that's going to stop you from achieving it because it is so ingrained internally that nothing's going to stop you. Bree's not going to have to bug you. I'm not going to have to sit there and go, hey, come on, Morgan, let's do this already. Every week, you will want it so bad, you will just do it. Okay, so keep that in mind. Kind of gut check your why and how entangled is it into your soul and when you think about that why, I know Bree's why, and she does, and you guys know that too. Bree wants this bad. You know her why. She was actually just in this picture, so we know who that why is for her. Um, the second part is achieving diamond. For Morgan and Carrie and even Amanda, how was your journey hitting diamond? Was it hard? Was it a journey? And look at the, li- look at the lessons you learn in achieving that diamond, Okay. As a coach, hitting diamonds, a big deal. That is far away, you know, and and that finish line keeps getting further and further. They get one coach, you get a bunch of no's. You're like, dude, this is going to take forever. You win some, you lose more, and you wonder, is it ever going to happen? You three are living proof that it happens. You two, I don't know about uh, Carrie, but you two are, you know, six and seven months into the business, okay? Imagine what another six and seven months are going to do for you. 
it's exciting. And now let's relay that down and start the duplicatable process. Now you guys are in that position where how do we create that same uh, momentum in your coaches you're developing? Okay. And so I want you to kind of think about that a little bit. Amanda, was that you? It was Amanda. My husband is burning pancakes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's pancakes burning? And I like how calm you are when your fire signals she's, go off. She's like, oh, okay. My children in the house. Like, I got a call here. Her house is on fire. The fire department's coming to her house. I'm on a call. That's Amanda, I like, I like where you're – I like <laughs> – I will get another diamond. <laughs> I'm on a call. We'll get another diamond and pay for that house. Pay for that burnt portion okay. of your house. <laughs> All right, we're good. Done. Done. That is hilarious. I thought just I don't know what I was hearing. Anyway, but that's what I want you to think about right now in this time in your business. I want you to really move forward. The second part I wanted to say is pushing for a diamond's tough. And it's hard and it's that mental game psychologically for a coach to think, okay, what does it take to hit diamond? And they get one coach, they lose more and they get frustrated. What I want you to do is have them kind of three times or four times an emerald. So mentally you want to play with them and say, Hey coach, you know, just hit emerald. That's two coaches. Boom. They hit emerald. Now tell them hit emerald again. Let's just hit emerald again. Let's do two more coaches. Let's hit another emerald. Two, four, six, eight, boom. All of a sudden you got diamond and all they're doing is just hitting emerald, you know, a few times over. Okay, it's a good mental game for coaches because when you say, hey, you got to get eight coaches and two of them got to hit emerald, that's extremely overwhelming for a new coach. You guys all know that. And we all look for strategic ways to help our new coaches overcome that, that confidence or that belief in themselves and this system. But you guys are living proof that it works. I'm impressed with how young you guys are in Beachbody and how far you've taken your business. Okay. You guys have gone through some of the hardest part of this business and that's what you've accomplished now. You've proven yourself. Now it's time to duplicate you in these coaches you're recruiting and really show them what this is all about. And now let's make it a goal and a point. Continue to be the example. Don't let go of your recruiting, your developing, your personal development, your inviting. You continue that strong. And we're going to talk about numbers because I know Bree wanted me to talk about, okay, 2016, what do we need to do? Okay, we're doing it. But on the flip side, continue that, but also focus on your coaches, getting them developed. You've got to get those coaches to diamond. And as Bree knows, how many coaches does it, how many coaches does it take to hit two-star? Two I mean, it took me builders. 45 to hit diamond. So. <laughs> <laughs> 45, but how many, how many business builders, Bree? What? Three. How many business builders? Uh, like under ten. Okay. <laughs> that are truly guess, like that. I would call a business builder. Yeah. Okay, she has under ten, but let's think about that. You have forty-five coaches. <laughs> under ten are business builders. If you can capture all those people and they all achieve diamond, look where it's going to put you in your business. Okay, it's unbelievable where you're headed. The, re the reality is, is you know, I mean, for some of you guys to hit two star, two business builders that really get to diamond is all you need. It's two diamond. Bree is sharing you the reality of it takes this quantity <laughs> to get this amount, and a few of those were really build, and that's you three that are on this call. Okay, so let's think, of, you know, so really think about what it takes. But as business builders, you guys get it. You guys get that. Yeah, um, let's we move. Just talked about. Um kind of touched on that and also to not get hung up on the coaches that say they want it that aren't acting on it mm -hmm. so we kind of touched on that last night where I was like you know I don't drag anybody along anymore I did that a lot and it didn't get me anywhere and I sat at diamond for a really long time because of that and then the moment that I you know I had Carrie sign up and I had Amanda sign up and I was like I didn't have to do anything out of the ordinary I sent yeah. an email, I encouraged, I supported, but I didn't have to tell them to hit success club every month. I didn't have to tag them in training videos or tell them to go to YouTube or tag them in the online office. And that's when it clicked for me to say, if they want it, they want it. And if not, then I just need to find more people because I can't make anybody put their why to fit with this business. Mm -hmm. 
Well said. No, that's perfect. One thing I'm going to show you as well, and Bree, it's on the Central Leaderboard Facebook page. Um, so I'll pull it up and share my screen for now, but I want you to go and print this off for everybody on this call, okay? It's the Elite Goal Guide, okay? Okay. Because right now, this group right here, you guys, we got two diamonds and a one star, two through five star diamond coaches where you're all going to end up. Realistically, five star is extremely doable for all of you guys next year. Okay, and I want you to I want that to be a reality for you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Bree, these guys got your energy. Carrie, yeah. I like it. I like I it. I wanted to do this call because I knew that if I had this in the beginning of my year or the end, you know, I hit diamond in January and nobody had planted that seed of like dreaming that big. I had two star. I went back and looked at my 2015 goals. And I had two star as an October goal or a September goal. And I hit that in like June. So I wasn't dreaming near big enough. So I wanted them to see like how fast it goes. And when I was pushing in August and you were going, hey, elite can happen. I know I had pregnancy and all this stuff come up. But the fact that if they can do it now, I mean, it, it really is realistic if they have the groundwork now. Exactly. Bree, you're right on the money on that one. So I want you guys to think about what needs to happen. It actually ends up being very simple if you break it down per month. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. So let's elite. Okay. And once again, as we know, we talk about elite, but let's think of what, what elite really means. You know, you're, it's really volume in your business. It's capturing new coaches to come on and be business builders for your business. It's income generating as well for you guys. And it's influence. You have a chance to be a leader, to influence well, and to have opportunity to exemplify to your team what it means, you know, to be front and center, to be on stage, to receive gifts at every event you attend and have, you know, receive uh, just amazing things at, at everything and, and be recognized, you know, because that, you know, it's the reward of being so great. Um, but it is a goal to shoot for. And I'll tell you right now, Amanda, Morgan, I'm uh, missing the last name on here. Carrie, this is 100% doable for all of you guys, and you have 12 months to do it. So let's take advantage of every month to make it a reality. And like Bree said, let's learn from Bree's experience because that's what she wants for you guys. She went through an experience where it was a learning curve on the leadership exposure and the opportunity of what really she can handle. Yeah, Bree, hands down, as everybody on this call knows, easily could have hit this if she would have been able to utilize the full year in, in achieving that, huh, Bree? Yeah. You know, and you, you pushed hard ladder when we started working. I'm like, dude, you're hitting five-star lead. You're like, holy crap, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Where she easily could. And so it was a mind shift game at latter part of the year for her to really kind of grasp. And she pushed hard. And um, But once again, reality is we don't want to create too much stress. And I mean, especially with uh, uh, little miss uh, mom, baby on the way. I mean, a lot was going on with Bree at this time. And, you know, she's a mother expecting. And and uh, the cool thing is, is this business is a long-term opportunity. Short-term, it's fun to set short-term goals and really push hard and see what you're made of. But really, every decision we make is a long-term one. We want this to be a long-term investment for every one of you guys. Okay? And that's what this is. Okay? So let's kind of review it a little bit. And this is what I want you guys to kind of focus on. You may or may not be doing this now, but we want to gauge and gear your business up so when January hits, start now. Start practicing how to hit these with Success Club, with your coaches hitting Success Club, and with um, recruiting new coaches. Okay, These are the three elements that will help develop your business. So first off, as you can see this Elite Goal Guide, to be a five-star or higher by the end of the year, this is for 2015. We have a new one for 2016 uh, coming out. Majority, if not everything, will pretty much stay the same. Advance two personally sponsored coaches to Diamond, okay, in that year, um, and then earn a total of 135 elite points, okay? So then what we have is we have three categories, so we'll simplify it because this can get a little intense, but if we talk about it a lot, you'll fully understand it. But bottom line, there's three categories. One, it's you hitting Success Club and your personally sponsored coaches hitting Success Club. Okay. It's pretty much all your coaches. Since all of you guys are new coaches, it'll be everybody. But it's really two years of coaches. Okay. So bottom line, you hit Success Club, your PS coaches hit it, you get one point for them hitting it, you double that when you hit it. 
okay? And so with that category, as you can see in this first example, if you have four of your PS coaches hitting success club, you'll have 48 at the end of the year. Then you double it at two, you got eight, you got 96 points in that category, okay? So that's the example, okay, that's the only example. So that's, that's just hypothetically speaking, so that's four. So right now, uh, many of you, you know, as a, you probably have two coaches or three coaches or maybe even one or maybe no one right now. So let's start finding who those business builders are. Let's get up to one or two and allow that compound effect to happen in those 12 months. But we want to we want to gauge ourselves to get to that four range if possible. And once again, it's okay if it's not initial. It's the compound effect. So you may end up with four to six or maybe six to eight in the latter part of the year. Okay. So right now, January, December, January, February. Let's use these as building blocks on how to really get up to that four on average. Okay. Any questions on that first category that we just discussed? I was just going to reiterate that I had. <laughs> Two coaches hitting success club, January, February, March, and then I shot up to six. So what he's saying is shoot for that number, but if you have two in January, it's not end game over, but that's yeah. where you're building to. So that would be an even, you know, scale what would be ideal, but a lot of us don't see that till May, June, July, but shooting for that, you know, four or five coaches, it will happen by the end of the year where you're having six or seven. Perfect, Bree. Thank you. Well played. The second category, bottom line for this one, it's, it can kind of get a little confusing, but it's personally sponsored coaches and their personal volume. Um, and it's an accumulative of that. So you kind of, you kind of, what's the right word? You combine all of your 2015 personally sponsored coaches you recruit and for every 500 in PV, you get one point. So slightly confusing. Bottom line, it, honestly, an easy way to say it is recruit. Recruit, 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 and everyone you recruit in 2016, you'll get a point, okay? This example you see on this elite goal guide in category two, right in here, it shows on average we want to build up. We want to have about three coaches on average, so two to four coaches a month um, join, joining your team, okay? Look how crazy that is. With three coaches a month, that you're going to total 36 <laughs> coaches at the end of the year. Who doesn't want 36 coaches on their team okay that's the cool reality the reality is we know when you recruit numbers you know on average you lose you know about 50 percent stick around so say you recruit six coaches three will stick around on average okay so kind of keep that in mind as you're gauging for three surpass that shoot for five or six four to six a month is a good a very good number to shoot for and you'll end up with between two and two to four coaches okay that's recruiting Okay, and so that's kind of the power with that category. And then the compound effect happens as well. Say you recruit tons in quarter one and quarter two, those coaches are gonna carry into quarter three and four, giving you not only the new coaches you're recruiting in quarter three and four, but also the ones from one and two. So that number is gonna double, triple, quadruple itself by the latter part of the year, okay? So kind of keep that in mind with that category, okay? So it's really bottom line, recruit like crazy right out of the gate. Okay, so I think as a team, we want to come out in January 1 and everyone have a strong, aggressive approach to recruiting, especially in quarter one and two. Okay, and see where your moment, momentum is carrying yourself after that. Um, but you will carry yourself and you'll naturally just organically hit elite if you do that and make that and take that as a serious challenge. Okay. The third category is ATV, advanced team volume. That one's a tough one to kind of kind of gauge, but really that's three levels deep of, of personal sponsorship. Okay, it's their overall volume accumulated every 10,000, you get one point. Okay, so that one's kind of tough. So bottom line, focus on recruiting, focus on success club. You will, and the success club portion, we really, ba we call it your base, you know, focus on your base. How many of your personally sponsored coaches are hitting success club? We want to continue to elevate that one and make that a priority. And if you do that, you will, get, you will set yourself up for pure success, hitting that five-star this next year, hitting elite, and, have, and, and this will be your building block year for 2017 to be the year that you can't even imagine you'd ever have. And you'll be walking on clouds with 
twinkling of <laughs> whatever. Anyway, you'll just kick ass, all right? Let's just leave it at that. Um, but anyway, so do you guys have any questions with that? Thank you for explaining that. I know you and I have talked about it, but I know just going over it time and time again, it makes it simpler because elite points are just so frustrating to understand. And the more, like you said, the more you just break it down and have somebody else word it differently or say it differently, it just makes more sense of what you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, totally. Keep things simple. That's the biggest line. You can complicate things. There's a lot of busy, 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 but funnel down and just focus on the key core elements. Okay, if you do the key cores, the top coaches and the ones that grow quickly, they focus on the key cores. You focus on those key things. Your business will grow. You'll make great money. Your volume will go high. You'll be like, holy crap, this is a lot easier than I thought. We complicate it ourselves. We make it complicating. Okay, so kind of gut check yourself and say, what can I remove? What's the fluff I'm doing? Where am I spending way too much time and where do I need to refocus? Make those and set those non-negotiable hours. Okay, so I want you all to also to challenge yourself. One, how many coaches am I going to re start recruiting? Two, how many of my personally sponsored coaches are going to hit success club? And then three, setting aside those non-negotiable hours that are beach body only, no if and buts, everything else is secondary to those hours. If you do that, that will really propel you and gauge you right onto the path of success. Anyway, that's what I've got for you guys. I appreciate your time tonight. I appreciate you guys, and I'm excited to see where you guys are headed. Bree, I think the world of you, you know that, and you guys are on a great team, you know, and I want you to think about it. Holland, too, her last name, that's, my, that's the name of my uh, four-year-old. So, or which child? I'm getting my kids mixed up. My one-and-a-half-year-old. It's the reason he likes me. It's the only reason he <laughs> <laughs> totally. I don't like you for any other reason, Bree. No, I'm just kidding. No, she's a great coach. And you guys know that she works hard. She puts a lot of passion and heart into what she does. And she's leading you guys the right way. You know, I work with a lot of coaches. I see what a lot of coaches do. And Bree is doing it right. You know, and so I want you to be proud of what you're doing. Be, have a lot of confidence in the team that you work on and with. And really hold on to the hold on to her coattail. Hold on to those best practices and, and um, systems that you guys have created and run. You know, you can question them all day long because you want to question what you're doing. Don't just do it because Bree says, do it. I want you to question it. Say, is this valuable? Why am I doing this? It, because if you question it, then you'll do it for the right reasons. Okay, Bree told me to post this and I don't get why. So don't post it. You find out why she, Bree, why am I posting this dang thing? And she's going to say, no, you're posting it because you're capturing these people. You know, you're following up with this or that, or you're representing yourself this way. Then you post it and they say, oh, I got it. So now you're going to post with passion and heart and you're going to individualize it to you. So that post will have a lot more meaning to you. And also the people following you, they want to see you in every one of your posts. They don't want to see Bree. They don't want to see, you know, Anita. Myron, her upline. They don't want to see other people. They want to see you. So Morgan, when you post things, I want to. Oh, it should have Morgan written all over it. Don't have any Brie in, in what you're Morgan posting. Morgan has Morgan written all over her post. <laughs> I picked the right person for that one then. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> hey, Morgan, I'm with you on that. The good is the bad and the bad is the good. Anyway, no, keep bottom line just can't continue you know do those things and just gut check yourself and question why you're doing it and bring huge value to what you do and if you do you'll elevate your retention you'll elevate the quality of your posting and your recruiting and your marketing of you but that's what i've got for you guys once again thanks for tonight brie is there anything you want to add to this no that was awesome it's exactly what i think we wanted to go over so Good. You're so good at I Kendra and I always joke that you always have the feel goods. <laughs> like you talk to you and we're like having a bad day. I'm like, just call Jeff or just message Jeff. <laughs> and he has a way of making the boring stuff like exciting. <laughs> Bree, you're awesome. Well, I do have a therapy uh, clinic on the side, so I'll send you my card. <laughs> I'll give you those warm and fuzzies all day long. Perfect. Thank you, Bree. I appreciate <laughs> it. No. Time out of your night, or I don't know what time it is there. Five. But it's six o'clock. You're good. Okay. Cool. Well, we appreciate it, and I just wanted them to know that you know the support that I get is there for them too, and you know they talk to Sydney. I know that's kind of a newer program, so I thought yep. 
having you really reiterate that it's not just them on their own that you know when I talk about talking to Jeff that you know this is partly them too so yes anyway love it well let's do a follow-up I want to meet with you all again um, I want you all to challenge yourself to the few things we said I'm excited to hear about your strategies going into 2016 so Bree let's do a follow-up in January with this crew right here yeah and maybe we'll do, it. You're at. we'll do it right after new leadership love it love it can't wait perfect, perfect you guys good luck and uh, rock it have a great uh, so end much. of the new year and the start of the new one thank you bye you guys bye, bye.